me that's a lot of it. Four coops for a season, drop the top of it. Bust down with my wrist, time to talk a lot of I got both my girls head to toe designer. Drill, little bit, little bit. Uh, let me feel myself a little bit. Little bit, little bit, you ain't talking big. Get out my way, little bit. I can't hear the hate, got a lot of it. Take these bands to the bank, let them rot in it. So much nice on me, I wish I had two necks. I got homies that can sleep without two. I got homies that can sleep without. Gucci and Chanel, I got a lot of it. Walk up in the spot like, hey, what poppin' in? Come poppin' for me, cause I'm rich and poppin' in. Yeah. Drill. Little bit, little bit. Uh, let me feel myself a little bit. Little bit, little bit. You ain't talkin' big. Get out my way, little bit. She gon' put it on me, that's a lot of it. Four coops, four seasons, drop the top of it. Bust down, but my wrist, time to talk a lot of sh- I got both my girls, head to toe, designer, sh- designer. Drill. Little bit, little bit. Uh, let me feel myself a little bit. Little bit, little bit. You ain't talking big. Get out my way, little bit. What's the lay that where you find me though? Chacha macho with a t- rockin' black clothes. Whip around that Batmobile, duckin' 5 If you step to me, then be prepared for smoke, little bro. Uh, let me feel myself a little bit. Uh, let me blow this down a little bit. Drip, little bit, little bit. Uh, let me feel myself a little bit. Little bit, little bit. You ain't talking big. Get out my way, little bit. They love their crab cakes and they love their football. That's what Maryland does. And we are at M&T Bank Stadium down near the Inner Harbor of Baltimore. Here's a scene a short time ago. The Ravens introduced to this sellout crowd and through a sea of pyrotechnics, out they came from the tunnel. We're set to go as the Ravens get ready to match up with the Cincinnati Bengals. Seems like we were just starting training camp, but here we are in October, and off we go on EA Sports. Fielded near the back of the end zone. And the decision to bring it out, not a good one, as he's tackled it to 15. Well, conventional football, football 101, tells us if you don't get it back to the 20-yard line on a kickoff return, that's a disappointment. But some of these teams, special teams coaches, with approval by the head coach, they give them full authority to go ahead and bring it out and try to be aggressive. Almost what we call the green light, red light theory. Green light means go, red light means stop. Looks like he had green on that play. Line of scrimmage, the 15, it's first and 10. And the former Heisman winner, this is Mark Ingram. They get him to the ground right on the cusp of the red zone after a pickup of five or six. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. Brings up second and five. They run, it's Mark Ingram. And he'll get this up to the 30-yard line. It's a first down on a gain of 10. And you know he wants to make the most of every carry because he competes with his quarterback, Lamar Jackson, for carries and yardage. But Mark Ingram, over 1,000 yards last season. And then the Ravens went out and drafted J.K. Dobbins out of Ohio State in the second round. So now the Ravens potentially have two guys to pair with Lamar Jackson in the run game. Wishbone formation, anyone? He's taken down. Big Geno Atkins there to bring him down. Well, every now and then we have to let a cliche fly partner. And in this case, what do they say in the NFL? Your best ability is often your availability. This is an extremely durable kid coming out of Ohio State. 
carried the ball every time they even thought about running it. Wore down defenses and able to break big runs late in games. J.K. Dobbins going to Baltimore, an absolute perfect fit. Toward the center of the field, but it's incomplete. He was looking for Mark Ingram there, and it's third down. Nice play there to force the incompletion, and to me, one thing's for sure. When you're the underdogs and you're playing on the road, you absolutely have to get takeaways. You've got to get the ball from them. Yeah, win that turnover battle going to be key. They didn't get one there, but you get the feeling they keep making plays like that. They might just get a few. Yeah, once you get one, defensive teams think they come in bunches. On third down, Jackson. Oh, looking for Andrews downfield. And that will be incomplete. Brandon, we saw these defenders flying to the football in their win last week, and nothing has changed. They're still moving around quickly and forcing incompletions. He punted twice in the win last week as he gets this one away. Good blocking there. Nearly sprung him as it is. It'll go as a 19-yard return. And the Bengals will take over here first and 10. Sooner Joe Mixon. And he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. No gain on the play there. Second down. Brings up second and 10 at the 31 yard line. Officially nothing on that last run. They'll try again second and 10. From the shotgun, Joe Burrow. And this one complete to Gafford. They do get a yard there, but only a yard. Leaves him with third and nine looming. The goal of a wide receiver screen is get enough blockers in front to create a wall and let him pick his spot to run the football. How about the defense there swarming to it and not allowing that to happen? Did not let him get downfield. This defense tightening up a bit. That last catch, just one yard, making it third and nine. Out of the gun, it's Burrow. He gets it to Brown, complete. And he is going to have a Bengals first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Great way to convert on third down there. 21 yards the play. down. Here's Burrow. He'll find his running back, Joe Mixon. And he's got this down to the 35. 11 more yards that go around. A first down as well. Nice little nifty play for him there. Yeah, that's the ability to read a defense and utilize players that don't often get picked up in coverage easily. And I'm talking about being able to use the backs out of the backfield. Because I know that when I used to cover, hey, we got everybody cut. Oh, he just snuck out there. And they just got a nice first down there. What do we love to say? Get those backs into space, right? And they were able to do that there. Nice pickup on first down. And yeah, they're able to get this one past the 30 to the 25-yard line. Ten more for him on that one. He's been a busy man. It's a first down. Going to give this to Mixon. And some room to work. And he gets it inside the 10 to the 9. Another nice gain. 16 yards there and a first down again. Quite the opening drive march they're on right now. It looks a lot like what we saw in practice prior to the game, doesn't it? You know, because on that last big practice beforehand, you go through your offensive script. You go through your play calling. You go through all this stuff in a step. And he'll take this into the end zone for a Bengal TD. Joe Mixon, his fourth touchdown on the year. And the Bengals are going to take a first quarter lead. And he's got it to make it 7 0 Bengals. Bengals 7, Ravens nothing.
Randy Bullock to kick off for Cincinnati. Now Bullock will send this one away after the touchdown. Takes this about five yards deep. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped at the 23. Ravens take over first and 10 at their own 23-yard line. Raven offense set at the line for this next drive. They punted last time they had it. What steps, Charles, do you think they have to take to make sure they don't do that again? Well, let's just go to the football 101, the trite expression 101. Win first down. Make five, six, seven yards on first down and make it a second and three, second and manageable. Keep accumulating first downs that way. Keep moving the football. You don't want to get behind the sticks because then the defense has the advantage. Well, the first play of the drive lost four. Now they'll look to move it forward here on second and 14. From the gun, it's Jackson escaping the pressure right. Catch is made by Marquise Brown. They'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. The catch and run going to wind up netting him 33 yards. Partner, you know when we call a game, we talk about Lamar Jackson and his speed and his elusiveness and the ability to get him on the ground, how tough that is for a defense. But how about his development as a thrower, as a professional? And they'll get this just to the 47, one-yard gain. The tackle made. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. Brings up second and nine. Jackson from the shotgun. Got his man complete over the middle. That's Ingram. And he's got another first down as the tackle's going to be made at the Bengals 37. Give him 10 yards on that one, and that'll earn him a fresh set of downs. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. This is Ingram on first and 10. It's a six-yard pickup, but it gets him to second and four. Decided to hand it off that time on the run pass option. Appeared to be an easy decision. Just gave it inside. Nice steady game. Six yards on that last play. Here's second and four. Here's Jackson to throw. They'll find Dobbins out of the backfield. No gain on that one, and it's going to bring up a third down. When a linebacker is able to sit at the second level and see things develop in front of him, as soon as he got a hint that the quarterback was checking it down, he just made a beeline directly for the receiver and ended up making the play. Flush to his right. He can run for it, and he will. And he'll be out of bounds, able to get it down to the 25 there. Jackson always a threat to run. He's got the first down. He was the NFL's leading rusher among QBs a year ago. After one, 7 nothing on EA Sports. Score, Bengals 7, Ravens nothing. Jackson on first down, forced out to his left. Looking left side, and he's got a man. It's Ingram, and he gets it inside the 10 to the 9. The Raven passing game getting in sync, another first down. That is definitely what we call on defense an uh-oh play. And what you mean by that is against Lamar Jackson, when you see him out of the pocket, your first thought is, uh-oh, he's going to try and run it. How do I get to him and get him on the ground? And guess what? That didn't happen, and his receivers took advantage. It'll be a pickup of eight and a good first step there with second and goal coming up. Good yardage on first down. Now can they punch it in on second and goal? They look to run with Ingram. And forget about finding a lane. He barely had time to look up before he was planted in the backfield. They'll wind up losing three yards here. And that is going to set up third and goal. Jackson. His pass caught at the four. And he is into the end zone for a Baltimore touchdown. 
Hollywood, Marquise Brown. His fourth touchdown on the year. And the Ravens are an extra point away from tying the football game. That Tucker with the extra point, and we are tied at seven. Justin Tucker to kick off for Baltimore. So I'll leave it at seven now as they kick it away. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. 25-yard line. drive about to get going after the long touchdown drive we just saw you wonder if maybe that's taken a little of the wind out of this offensive sales because they had it going pretty good last time too had to sit over there for a little while didn't they you know they were eager amped up to get back on the field after just scoring hoping to get the ball back quickly that didn't happen so i'd say come out just kind of get started again you know doesn't have to be anything dramatic just get moving get loose again and see if they can get it downfield Second down, here's Mixon. And this won't be enough to pick up the first. A gain of two, third and one. He's tackled at the third. If they're going to get a first down out of this, they're going to have to earn it because there's been tough going in the interior there. And here we are on third and one. Be prepared. Brace yourself. Could be some contact going on. Third and one, Burrow going deep downfield for, and that's caught inside the 30. And all the way in for a Cincinnati score. To John Ross. John Ross with touchdown number eight on the year. And the Bengals have taken the lead. Lining up for the point after. So that's a heck of a response to regain the lead after we had seen the touchdown to tie the game. I would say what we just saw there was a great amount of poise because typically when teams tie the game up, it's a little bit of a, how would you say, you kind of kind of take a step back and have to get yourself regrouped. They regrouped in a hurry, didn't they? They attacked back after they'd been tied. And in a big way, that was a statement-long touchdown. DeAnthony Thomas on the return. The Ravens take over first and 10 at their own 17-yard line. The Baltimore offense at the line set to get going. And they'll be looking to build off of a nice drive last time, a drive that really relied on the quarterback. Making good decisions, distributing the ball well, distributing it accurately, keeping it away from danger. A really nicely run drive. But now the defense, what adjustments do they need to make in the passing game? Pass rush, pass rush, pass rush. Whether it's the guys up front, or maybe you bring additional guys, but you've got to disrupt the timing of them throwing the football. Yeah, we'll see if they can disrupt it here. And he'll be limited to a short gain up to about the 34-yard line. A gain of two. Not a whole lot there. The defense was ready, it looked, for that run-pass option. You get the sense that next time he has that opportunity, he may keep it himself and get to the perimeter. Probably owes his back a little bit of an apology on that one, huh? Pass from Jackson, complete to Ingram. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. Give him 14 on that one and a first down. And this is why trying to cover the angle route is so difficult. Anyone playing the linebacker position, when they see a running back out of the backfield widen, because he heads towards the flat first, oftentimes you widen too much and overcommit. He cuts up inside, and that's what we saw there. A nice pickup for a first down. Give him 10 yards on the pickup, and it'll be second and very short. Just about every quarterback is trained to really look downfield first before you come back and make a nice, safe throw. And in this case, that's exactly what he did. Found his running back, let him create some space, and it turned out to be a nice play for the offense. So not quite a first down just yet as they come up on second and less than a yard. From the gun, Jackson eluding the pressure right. That ball caught. It's Mark Andrews, the tight end. 
And he's got another first down as the tackle's going to be made at the Bengals 28. A couple of third-year guys, a couple of pro bowlers. Jackson to Andrews for the Ravens first. A tenth carry here for Mark Ingram. And he'll be taken down just shy of the red zone at the 21. Seven yards on the pickup there, and it'll leave him with a second and three. Well, no matter how they phrase it, staying on schedule, staying ahead of the sticks, whatever you want to call it, seven yards on first down, that fits the bill. On second down, Ingram. And not much to speak of there. Maybe a yard down to the 20. Again, the ball carrier. He was brought down by Trey Wins. It's a gain of a yard. We've hit the two-minute mark of the second quarter, 14-7. Once we hit halftime, as we do all season, we'll send it down to Jonathan Coachman in Orlando. He'll have all the stats and scores from games in progress around the NFL. The best multitasker in the business, the coach. Meanwhile, on third down, they take a shot at the end zone, but it's incomplete. So many times we talk about coverage, we're just talking about a defender running with a receiver, but a big part of it is understanding where the football is, finding it. In this case, when it arrived, it wasn't a surprise, and he was able to bat it away. The offense staying out. They're going to go on fourth and two. Now it's Jackson. And he's got his man, Marquise Brown. And he'll have the first down, getting this one to the 14-yard line. A solid pickup of five and a very solid fourth down conversion and defensively pure frustration. Here's a first and 10 at the 14-yard line. Operating from the gun, Jackson. And he was hit as he threw it there, and it forces it incomplete. My quarterbacks work all the time on manipulating a defense with their eyes and their head movement. In this case, he just stared the receiver down. That allowed for excellent coverage, able to knock that one away. So now second and ten after the incompletion on first down. to throw again. Jackson trying here for Bryant, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Von Bell. And he'll take this back all the way up past the 45-yard line. Charles, not only is that an interception, it's one when you were really knocking on the door for a touchdown inside the red zone. You're actually thinking points. No matter what, at worst, you're thinking kicking a field goal and getting three. We might look back on this in the second half and say, you remember when they didn't get points on that drive? This could cost them. The Bengals drive about to get going. And right now they're saying, hey, let's keep this going. Two drives, two touchdowns. Yeah, can't ask for a better start than that, can you? I mean, this is the way you practice it. This is the way you rehearse it. But right now, the play calling, they locked in really well. Calais Campbell on the stop. A four-receiver look here. Three out to the left, one to the right on second and eight. Incomplete. But prior to that, he had hit his first six passes to start the game, so on a nice little run to begin. It feels like this offense has carried its dress rehearsal into the game, you know, because you do practice it, you do go through it, and in this case, it is clicking exactly like they drew it up. So the failure to connect on second down, that leaves him staring up here at a third and eight. Now it's Burrow, and he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. Now the Bengals going to use the first of their timeouts as the clock shows 50 seconds to play here in half number one. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. From the shotgun, it's Burrow. Over the middle here to Brown. 
And he gets this one inside the 15, just a yard or two shy of the 10. A gain of a good pickup there, 26 yards. Cincinnati. From the gun to give to Mixon. And he will take it on in for a Bengals touchdown. Joe Mixon as the first half is winding down. And the Bengals add on to their lead. So simple math here in the first half. They've had three drives offensively, and they have scored every time, and they've got the lead. Well, whenever we talk about adjustments, we usually talk about an offense making adjustments, right? This is all about the defense. They've got to figure out some way, somehow, to slow them down. Do they blitz a little bit more? Do they play more zone coverage? Right now, they have nowhere to go because they're hitting them in every direction. And he's going to have the first down as they move into field goal range here at the 25-yard line. The Raven offense set at the line for this next drive. And they had a nice little drive going last time through the interception in the red zone. Costly. Bad enough to throw it anywhere, but that drives coaches insane when they're thinking about... He rifles one that's intercepted. Picked up by Jesse Bates. And he's given his guys a shot from late points as they will take over in range for a field goal or maybe more. So three seconds here remain in the half. On is the field goal unit to see about getting three points. From the left hash, this will be a 52-yard attempt. And this one looks good. It is good. Right down the pipe. So we reach halftime in what's been a fairly one-sided game so far. As we'll send you down to Orlando, we check in with Jonathan Coachman for our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. Justin Tucker to kick off for Baltimore. The Bengals set to receive. They have the lead and the football to begin quarter number three. Fielded near the back of the end zone. And the half will begin with a touchback. Bengals drive about to get going. They built a good first half lead. Now they have a chance to add on to it. And what I'm thinking is that the offensive staff spent the entire halftime just working with them on here's what we think they're going to do to attack us in the second half. Nice first half that we've had, guys, but be prepared for some change-ups. We're going to see them when we kick it off in the second half. See how they handle any adjustments that might be made defensively. Here's second and seven now from the 28. Again, it's Mixon. And he'll get about four across the 30 to the 32. Well, you certainly have to give a little credit here because they're playing this game now at their pace. This is ball control football, sustained runs, taking their time and making it work. third down he'll drop this one down to mix it and he gets this one to midfield before he's brought down Complete that good for 19 yards as they pick up the conversion on third and while we may be looking at the scoreboard this offense certainly is not because they're showing no signs of backing down even with a three score lead here in the third quarter i think they keep taking their shots they've seen blown leads happen throughout this league they don't want to fall victim to it themselves Throwing it a traffic there, and that's complete. And he'll go down shy of the 40 at the 41. Eight yards. Nothing fancy on first down, but a very consistent type of a play. Hit that slant. A lot of people call it an extension of the running game, and it can be if that pass is completed. Because you hit a guy on the run like that, 
he often can go for big yardage. Sets him up nicely for second down, staying ahead of schedule. On second down, Mixon, and he'll get it down on the play to the 37. Four yards the pickup, first down. Second and two is prime time for a little bit of a gamble, isn't it? Open up the playbook, go play action, toss that bad boy deep. But in this situation, go ahead and give it to your back. Let him pick up a first down, keep the sticks moving. Now left side, a completion to his tight end. And they'll be inside the 35 now at the 34-yard line. Three yards the gain there, second down. Second and seven at the Ravens' 34-yard line. just inside the 25-yard line. It's a first down on a gain of 10. Just a simple tap pass, but it pays off in a big way. And sometimes the simple stuff causes the most problems for a defense because there's a breakdown in communication there. When that receiver goes behind the line of scrimmage and it looks like he's going in motion, someone either has to go with him or he has to be passed off to another defender. Somehow they didn't get that communicated well and it turned into a nice play. As usual, the hallmark of a good run defense, linebackers making plays near the line of scrimmage. Absolutely nowhere to run there. On second down, Burrow. And that is incomplete. A lot of force bearing down on him there. He could not hang on. It's third down. Oftentimes when you're losing a game and the team's still throwing with this kind of a lead, you start playing a little more physically. And they took that opportunity right there to be extremely physical and force that incompletion. It's been a pretty long drive. This will be play number nine. And they need 10 yards out of it on third. Burrow throw. His throw caught right around the six. And he will take it on in for a Bengals touchdown. Touchdown. A 24-yard touchdown. And the Bengals, they widen their lead. I think if you pulled defensive backs, they would say the corner route, take that out, make it illegal, because that is so hard to recognize and so hard to adjust because your first move is to not get beat in the middle of the field. And that's how they move you first before they break off to the corner. But then as the wide receiver, great job. It's tough to turn those upfield and go, but he did a great job with it there. Really good balance, really good body control. And how about the end result? A touchdown. And he returns this to the 22. On the, return, the Ravens take over first and 10 at their own 22-yard line. The Baltimore offense at the line set to get going. And their halftime hole now even deeper. And they need a big drive here just to answer the first touchdown of the second half scored against them. They were down at the half. Now, as you mentioned, they're down a little bit bigger, but no time for discouragement. Just got to get back to it, right? Put your shoulder against the boulder and start pushing and try and get back to where you were to start the half. That good for 21 yards on the catch and run. And Marquise Brown coming off of a solid rookie season, 46 catches, 584 yards, but he was never 100%. In his rookie year, as head coach John Harbaugh talked about the foot injury that he played with throughout the season. Now, they expect him to be 100% healthy. And when so, they'll see more of those plays that had everyone call him Hollywood in college. And across midfield he goes and into Bengal territory. A good run there on first down, and it'll leave him with a second and two. That was a good run, and it got to the second level. And what I mean by that is, that's where the linebackers usually play. First level being the defensive front, last level being the secondary. But the strong safety position ended up making the tackle. And oftentimes, we call them a hybrid. Combination defensive back, combination linebacker. We saw the linebacker make the stop. 19 yards to pick up there. Move the chains. First and 10 at the 30-yard line. So first and 10 now from the 30. Ingram. A 
short gain here, maybe a yard to the 29. Tackled at the 29. Well, sometimes you just have to give credit to the defense. Great job there at the point of attack, holding up. They won their battles at the line of scrimmage, left him no space to try and run. A really nice job swarming to the ball carrier. On second and nine, Jackson. And he's got another first down as the tackle's going to be made at the Bengals' 12-yard line. The Ravens get a new set of downs, give them 17 on that pickup. First and 10 at the 12-yard line. From down at the 12, it's first and 10. From the gun, it's a run for Ingram. They'll get this down inside the 10 for a pickup of about three. That play reminded me a lot of a former teammate of mine. We used to call him the trash man. His ability to sit through traffic and make plays was uncanny. And that's exactly what you want from your Mike linebacker. On second and seven, Jackson. And this one incomplete. Too much contact to hold on to that one, and it's third down. You get the sense that they're saying, we're not playing up to what we're capable of, and we're deep enough into the game that the early jitters are long gone, that they should now have some sense of continuity and be able to make some of these plays that they have not been doing so far. And that'll bring up fourth down as his Cincy defense stands up on third. Well, defensively, they haven't let him just sit in the pocket and get comfortable, and that's opposite a lot of game plans in today's NFL. Ordinarily, you're trying to keep the quarterback hemmed in. In this case, they brought the heat, and if he flushes out, they're fine with that, and they force another incompletion. That drive took him inside the 10. Good job defensively to hold him to three. Yeah, I like how you did that. Give a little tip of the cap to the stop troops there because they didn't give up a touchdown in that situation, right? Made them kick the field goal. And yeah, points went against them, but that feels a whole lot better running off the field. Tucker now following the made field goal, set to kick it away. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. Five-yard line. The Bengals drive about to get going. And now you've got the clock winding down here in the third quarter. Your three scores to the good. What's your approach on this drive? Too early to fully commit to playing the clock game. Yet at the same time, you're also not going pell-mell like you would in two-minute offense. This is what NFL offenses call four-minute football. Take the clock out of the game a little bit, wind it down, but at the same time, keep advancing the ball down the field. First down, Bengals. And that is going to do it for this third third quarter of action. You are watching the NFL on EA Sports. On first and 10, Joe Burrow over the middle complete. It's Brown and taking it across midfield and inside the 45. And they get 17 more on that one and another first down. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. Out of the shotgun, they run with Mixon. And he'll get it down on the play to the 37. Tackle made by Tyus Bowser. Brandon, I've got to think this offensive line has got some smiles on its faces. And, and I know it sounds crazy, but they practiced for this back in training camp. They knew they'd be in situations where it'd be extra defenders in the box coming after them, trying to keep them from locking down a game. Right now, they want to show the world they're up to the challenge. And it's third down. The Bengals on third down. No problems to this point. A perfect five for five. This time they face a third and two. Here's Burrow. And that is incomplete. From a defensive perspective, they had exactly what you want anytime they want to throw the football. There was pressure on the quarterback. They were getting after him, and they tightened down on the receivers and forced the incompletion.
So out comes the field goal team now for the second time here today. On the left hash, officially it's called a 51-yard attempt. And this is going to wind up left. Well struck, but it's no good. And this score will stay right where it is. Well, they can probably live with that with this late lead in the fourth quarter. That's one of the few things that's gone wrong. You're exactly right. This one was well in hand. That kick there was more for cosmetics, you know, to add to their score. Not getting it, that shouldn't harm them at all. Throwing now, Jackson on first down. Got his man complete over the middle. It's Andrews. And all the way in for a Ravens touchdown. Mark Andrews, his sixth touchdown of the season. And the Ravens get a bit closer. When they drew that up, I don't think they envisioned it ending in a house call. But he got it and took it all the way home. Really impressive run after the catch, wasn't it? That was, a, that was really special by him. But let's face it, in today's NFL, those tight ends are often former wide receivers or maybe even sometimes bigger running backs. They just put them in a position to get a great matchup and make plays like that. Fielded a couple yards into the end zone. And ultimately, he stopped right where he would have been if he had simply gone down to a knee at the 25. The Bengals drive about to get going. Well, there are two scores on the plus side. Still time here in this fourth quarter, but maybe you start thinking about playing keep away. Yeah, I think here's the situation. You're not thinking touchdowns anymore. You're just thinking first downs to keep up with your theme there, playing keep away. First downs, they can't touch the ball. And not much to speak of. Call it a one-yard gain up to the 26. To Joe Mixon. Well, offensively, that's the mismatch that you want. You want to force a linebacker to try and cover your back out of the backfield, out in some open space. But linebackers nowadays, they run like backs, and they take a lot of pride in covering. What a nice play he made there in the open field. On second down, here's Burrow. And that'll be incomplete. Took a pretty good shot as he tried to pull that one in. Couldn't hang on third down. Well, you most certainly don't want to go three and out here and give the football right back because your friend, Old Momentum, he's wondering if he should change sidelines about right now. And if you don't convert here, guess what? He's going to make the trek to the opposite side, and all of a sudden, you've got a battle on your hands. On third down, Burrow. Got a man open. It's Ross. And he's going to come up a bit short. He needed to get to the 35 for the first, but he only makes it to the 34. Here's Kevin Huber now. Always a good sign when your first punt comes in the fourth quarter. Returnable for Thomas. So possession goes over here on the punt. And the Ravens, they'll take over. First and 10 at their own 21-yard line. The Raven offense set at the line for this next drive. Their defense was able to force the punt. That's the good news. But this is still a two-score game, and they need points on this drive and in a relatively quick manner. And he will lose yardage on the play. Back at his own 19-yard line. Two yards, the loss, second and 12. We knew both of these safeties were good in run support, but how about the play we just saw there? How about that closing speed? Able to get to the outside part of the field and turn that play into a loss. On second and 12, Jackson. Oh, looking for Andrews downfield. And that is incomplete. A lot of force bearing down on him there. He could not hang on. It's third down. Charles, I think back to your earlier statement about the visitors being the underdogs needing to win that turnover battle. And this defense, they forced two turnovers so far. Big reason why they lead this game. Yeah, and I know defense is always talking about getting turnovers and bunches, getting those takeaways. Two's not a bunch. But it's plenty in this game, exactly the formula they need. And I got to tell you, partner, I like it when you think back to something I said. It actually comes true. It's actually right. It happens more often than you might think. All 
right, they're going to try and keep hope alive here on fourth down. They're going for it. Here we go. It's Jackson on fourth down. Oh, and for the third time, Jackson going to be intercepted. Picked off by Von Bell. And he will bring it back. It's a pick six for a Bengals TD. Little choice, Charles, but to go for it right there, and that pick six will be the icing on the cake. Yeah, you don't know how many more possessions you're going to get, so really, you're almost at the point of no option. Have to go for it. Bottom line, though, is defenders know that as well. They know you've got to throw the football. Had the right defense call, it would make a nice play on the ball, and that's all she wrote. Randy Bullock to kick off for Cincinnati. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. Thomas. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. The Ravens take over first and 10 at their own 30-yard line. The Baltimore offense at the line set to get going. Remember, they have won three straight, but getting to four straight does not appear to be in the cards as they are in a big fourth quarter hole. Back to the air, Jackson following the pick six. And he'll be taken down by the Bengal pressure. After the sack, it's second and 19, and the road gets a bit tougher from here. Another try after the first down sack, Jackson. He's got his tight end on the corner route. It's complete. And they're going to have this way down in Cincinnati territory. A big play there on the catch and run. 71 yards. First and goal with Lamar Jackson leading the charge, the 23-year-old quarterback. And if they find the end zone here, they'll reach that number 23 on the scoreboard. This will be caught at about the five. And the stop will come inside the five at the four. Three yards the game there, second down. Brings up second and goal at the four-yard line. Now it's Ingram. And he'll be stopped about a yard shy of the goal line after a pickup of about three. Two straight shots on the ground. Now on third, do you go to the air? I think the possibility exists, and if you're doing it, you're probably going play action since you ran it twice. But I often think that second down is a time you go play action, throw the ball. I say commit to the run and think about it being four down territory. Boy, no chance as he was met and dropped behind the line there. Two yards. It's now fourth and goal. Just two minutes remaining here in the fourth quarter of what has been a one-sided affair. So it's Raven football here as we welcome you back. They're looking at a fourth and goal here as they search for a late score. Being chased out left. And that'll be caught. Touchdown, Ravens. It's Hollywood Brown. Marquise Brown with his second touchdown of the game and fifth on the year. And the Ravens cut into that lead. good. Tucker able to connect on the extra point, and that cuts this lead down to 13. 24. Justin Tucker to kick off for Baltimore. Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. Fielded in the end zone. And he'll just take a seat and the drive will begin at the 25-yard line. 25-yard line. Bengals drive about to get going and a few kneel downs should just about do it now defensively they do have all three timeouts but very little reason to use them at this point 
Going deep downfield for Rook. He's got a man complete. 20. And all the way in for a Cincinnati score. To John Ross. John Ross. His second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Bengals are able to grow their lead. He has really settled in throwing the football, and that touchdown here in the fourth quarter gives him a pretty comfortable cushion. He may be a rookie, but he's playing like fourth quarter, and the QB is easy. How about this guy? Youngster, not worried about anything, just cutting it loose and having fun. And he is into the end zone to bump the lead up two more. Bengals 45, Ravens 24. Randy Bullock to kick off. Horses. Now Bullock will send this one away after the touchdown. Now this will make it into the end zone. And he's able to get this across the 20, but not by much as he's marked down officially at the 21. Over first and 10 at their own 21-yard line. The Raven offense set at the line for this next drive. Let's just be frank. They're playing for pride at this point. <laughs> that's, that's all that's left because victory, not a chance now. And I can't wait to see how they actually go about doing it because there are a lot of people watching the body language of the guys on the field now. And if they call plays they want executed, they need to do that and do it really well. Otherwise, there could be repercussions. Let's we'll see how they handle the waning moments of this one. From the 21, it's second and 10. Throwing again, Jackson. The Bengal pressure gets him that time. Down he goes. Geno Atkins got home that time. Now after that sack, it's third and long for Jackson and the Ravens. Flushed out right. That his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. Picked off at the 25. And he'll take this back down inside the 20. That's now a second interception in as many weeks from his linebacker position. And think about all the different techniques he has to employ in a passing situation. Is he spot dropping because it's zone? Is he picking up man to man? Is he having to run with a running back or a tight end? In any event, great eyes, head on a swivel, and excellent hands. Yeah, versatility and showing those hands. So here's a first and 10 now down inside the 20. Mixon with a first down carry. And they've got it inside the 10 at the 8. It's a good gain of 11. Sets him up first and goal. Well, that's a carry they have to be satisfied with. And throughout this game, they've been satisfied with what he's given them. Whenever they've needed a big run, a first down, he's the guy they've turned to. And it doesn't matter what the defense thinks. They feel like they've got the confidence to keep handing it to him and keep picking up good yardage. And give him five that time as they draw a bit closer here for a second and goal. Brings up second and goal at the two-yard line. From the two now, second and goal. That one looks like he'll throw here. Escaping the... And he'll take this into the end zone for a Bengal TD. I'm taking it in from two yards out. And the Bengals use the short field to their advantage as they cash in for six. Well, partner, when a team's up this big, this late in the game, I always wonder what's their motivation because if it's me, I'm thinking about pulling on the reins a little bit. But for them, I don't think it's in their DNA. It's not in their head coach's makeup at all. I think his opinion is, you stop us. We're not supposed to pull back ourselves. And they'll get him down right around the 25, actually the 26 officially, so a net gain of one there. At their own 26-yard line. Come on, come on. 
The Baltimore offense at the line set to get going. Well, this is just an exercise in futility. Do you, do you even bother running a play here offensively? I wouldn't because now is not going to erase what's happened during the game. So after it's over, you're going to go to the film, find out where the game was really lost. But this is not a situation now where you're going to make up for anything. We'll see what they do here. Second and inches. Still a few inches short of a first down as they come up now on second down. One last shot for Jackson. He's going to let it fly. And this is dropped and incomplete. Well, there's a metaphor for how this one is gone. His time has run out on this ball game. 